Meantime, Iran has expressed readiness to expand ties in all fields, including energy and technology with Venezuela. Foreign Minister Hussein Amir Abdullahian made the comments during a press conference with his Venezuelan counterpart in Tehran. He said that Tehran and Caracas have very close ties in multiple areas. The top Iran diplomat noted that the Islamic Republic seeks to expand cooperation with a Latin American country. Amir Abdullahian also slammed the U.S. for pursuing a hostile policy against Venezuela. From London, I'm now joined by Marcus Papadopoulos, he's an author and historian. Welcome, uh, Marcus. So there are two sovereign independent countries, uh, different sides of the planet. They want to have trade ties, and they already started, and this is what Washington doesn't like. What's wrong with that? In recent years, Latin America has witnessed the formation of a strategic partnership between Venezuela and Iran. And this strategic partnership will serve to enhance the national security of Venezuela and thereby the sovereignty of Venezuela. And in turn, it will add to Iran's increasing influence and power, not just in the Middle East, but in the wider world. So, for instance, Iran is assisting uh, Venezuela politically, financially, and militarily, and also technologically. Tehran is also exporting gasoline to Venezuela. Furthermore, Tehran assisted Caracas in exporting Caracas's oil from Venezuela. So the assistance which the Iranian authorities are providing to Caracas will help Venezuela to circumvent the American sanctions on Venezuela. Now, of course, for policymakers in Washington, this is a uh, increasingly worrying development in Latin America, because, of course, historically, Latin America is America's backyard, so to speak. It is America's sphere of influence. Let us not forget the famous or uh, infamous Monroe Doctrine. So the Americans are now looking at Venezuela with the knowledge that two of their arch foes, in fact, their two principal foes in the world, Russia and Iran, now have a very firm presence in Venezuela. Both Moscow and Tehran have strategic partnerships with Caracas. Venezuela is Russia's eyes and ears in Latin America, and Iran is wielding influence in Venezuela, which is assisting not just uh, the Venezuelan authorities, but the average man and woman in Venezuela, because the American sanctions on Venezuela are so severe that Venezuela would not have been able to survive those sanctions mm. without the assistance of both Tehran and Moscow. So Mar it is Marcus. only inevitable that Washington will look to try and destabilize the strategic partnership that mm. Iran has with Venezuela and also that Russia has with Venezuela too. Okay, Marcus, isn't it because of the U.S. sanctions, or maybe maybe partly at least because of the U.S. sanctions imposed on Venezuela that makes that country turn to other countries like Iran and Russia. The U.S. could have had the rapprochement and Dayton, and then they could have had their own relations. You are absolutely correct. Venezuela, as an independent sovereign country, has every right to pursue the political and economic course which it feels suits its interests at home and abroad. But alas, America will not tolerate any government in its sphere of influence, wherever this government, wherever this country is in the world, pursuing a line, pursuing a political and economic course, which is not to the satisfaction of Washington. And it is because of Washington's relentless pursuit of attempting to solidify its global hegemony that it placed sanctions on Venezuela. And as a result of those sanctions on Venezuela, it was only inevitable that Venezuela 
would look for assistance around the world because Venezuela on its own, of course, is no match for Pax Americana, is no match for the American empire. And I am not being disrespectful to Venezuela. The same would apply to Cuba. But of course, Iran and Russia um, have come to the aid of Venezuelan sovereignty and independence and have come to the aid of the welfare of the Venezuelan people. The Americans have only themselves to blame if they feel that Russia and Iran um, have a presence in uh, Venezuela which is not in the interest of Washington because as you correctly said had Washington not placed those sanctions on Venezuela then Venezuela would not have had any need to look around the world for assistance. Okay thank you very much for that Marcus Papadopoulos author and historian in London.